All right, guys, so sometimes you're going to get resistors that don't have color codes, but instead they have like a letter and number code. For example, one like this, you'll see a bunch of numbers printed on it. It'll say like 6R2, 10%, and then like a bunch of other stuff. Um, this actually contains information about the resistance of the resistor, and it's kind of a weird code when you first see it, but I'm going to work through a couple examples of what this could possibly mean. So the letter here R is what is going to indicate the, the basically the multiplier and the decimal position. We're going to have a few options where we have R, we have K, or we have M. Now R is going to refer to a multiplier of 1, K is a multiplier of 1000, and M is a multiplier of 10 to the 6 or a million. And the position of the letter, you're going to see a few different variations in a second, um, is going to indicate the position of the decimal place surrounding the digits that it's uh, interacting with. So in real life, here's an example of what one would look like as well. Uh, that This one is 27R, whereas the one that I've drawn here above is 6R2. So for 27R, that would be 27.0 times 1. For 6R2, the R is like weirdly the position of the decimal place, so 6R2 would be 6.2, and the R also indicates it's times 1 multiplier. So let's make a table here and go through a few options. So let's say that we have R62, um, 6R2, and 62R. Okay, so the multiplier, R means a multiplier of 1. I'll even write that down here. And the position of the letter also indicates where the decimal place is. So really the value of the bottom one here is going to be 62.0 ohms. When we look at the next one up, the R is the decimal place. It's between the 6 and the 2. I don't know who came up with this stuff, but it means 6.2 times 1 for the R. So it's just 6.2 ohms. And if we had R62, that would mean that we would have a 0 0.62 because the R is the position of the decimal place. It's basically 0.62, and it's a multiplier of 1, so it's just ohms. Okay, let's try this again with a letter K. And the K is a multiplier of 1,000. So when we look at the top one here, 6K2, the K is also going to indicate the place of the decimal. So we're going to have 6.2 times 10 to the 3, or times 1,000 ohms. Uh, we could also rewrite this as 6.2 kilo ohms if we wanted to. So you could also see this as kilo ohms. Okay, so that means that 62k is going to be 62 times 10 to the 3 ohms. And again, if you want, you could rewrite that as 62 kilo ohms. That's why they use the letter k. Uh, and the next one, 6 to zero, and then the K is the location of the decimal place, so it's 0 0.0 times 10 to the 3 ohms. So again, we could rewrite this as 620, let's get rid of that decimal place as well, because that's kind of weird to carry through, 620 kilo ohms, or we could also rewrite that as uh, 620,000 ohms. All right, let's run through the other example where we have the capital letter M. And M is a multiplier of a million. So that's like a lot of zeros, so times 10 to the 6. So when we look at this, 6M2, that is 6.2 times 10 to the 6 ohms. Uh, if you wanted to, it's totally okay to write 6 uh, times 10 to the 6 ohms as mega ohms. So you could also write this as capital M ohms. Again, that's why they use the M. It kind of refers to mega. And same here for the next one. So 62.0, because that indicates that the decimal place is on the right side of the 2. And this is going to be times 10 to the 6 ohms. Uh, you can leave it like that, or you can write 6.2 mega ohms, uh, which would also equal 6,200,000 ohms. So that's just another way that you might see resistors labeled, and it's a good thing to know how to do. It's a bit weird, but once you get the hang of it and you just kind of memorize that R is referring to, time, it's like regular, just times 1, K is referring to kilo, and M is referring to mega for the multipliers, uh, you should be good to go.